Boss, we're now into day two of the full match eight day overseas tour. How do you feel it's gone so far? Yeah, it's obviously yesterday was about travelling and getting here and getting ourselves settled in and a uh, light training session yesterday afternoon. So we're quite pleased the way it's gone so far, obviously. Uh, game to look forward to this evening. So, um, but everything from a travel point of view has gone quite well. Tell us a wee bit more about the unorthodox mode of transport from the hotel to the training pitch. Yeah, obviously the training pitch is I think is about maybe two kilometres, two and a half kilometres away. So we've been we've been cycling up there. So uh, part of the warm up routine. So it's it's uh, it's interesting to say the least. Um, some of the lads are not quite as good in the bike as they should be. Um, but it's uh, it's led to a good experience I suppose for some of them. What would you say is is going to be the the core benefit from being away together? Obviously it gives us time to, to work on, on what we want to do in relation to the team. Um, some new players here as well as getting used to each other. Some young boys as well that have come into the squad and obviously can pick up good habits. So, you know, in, in general, not just what goes on in the park, off the park is important when you when you get pre-season, start of season, new players, younger players coming into the squad. So it's about trying to gel that together as well and getting the philosophy of what we want and what we expect from them over the course of the season. Obviously, uh, on the transfer front, can we talk about the situation concerning Azar Osborne's future here at the club? I believe that negotiations are underway, but what's the latest there? Yeah, they are underway. We're, we're obviously talking to the club at the moment, and um, it's well documented at this stage. So, yeah, we're they're down the line on that. It's not concluded by any stretch of the imagination. But Aussie's made it clear that you know he'd like to get back down the road. So I think from our point of view, um, we need people who are committed here that want to. to, to to try help us and, and improve us and um, I understand from his point of view that he wants to get back a bit, a little bit closer to the family so um, and it gives us maybe um, some more finances to go and bring someone else in so it, it's, it, it is a situation that's developed over a short period of time but something we hopefully we'll, we'll get to the end of fairly quickly. You mentioned there obviously potential arrivals, Alan Mabry has now joined the, the squad, uh, what do you feel Alan could potentially bring to the squad should we finalise a transfer there? I think he brings a wealth of experience and knowledge of the game and like I've said before about having good professionals in the club and he fits the bill and all them, them or fits ticks all the boxes in fairness to him and you know, he's a good player as well which is it which is a plus for us. He can cover some positions as well. You know, so there's a lot that Alan can bring to the table. Whether we can get it done hopefully, you know, by the end of, of or by the start of the season we you know we'll be closer to doing that. But um, it's great to have him around the place. Like I said, he is he is a, a very, very